Hi there, and welcome back. So let's continue with this uh, brief introduction or training to transition to OpenFone 11 from OpenFone 9 or 10 or even older version, but I guess pretty much everybody's already in version 9 or 10. So before moving, just a reminder that please subscribe and join our channel. So just to help us to, to create more content or you can get in touch or visit our website. So this training of before moving to another tutorial, I want to address another new utility to remind you just to visit the these links in what side, you know, some description. But I received a question, what will happen with OpenFone ESI version? Okay, and so far I have no idea. Okay, so they are not following the same uh, road that the foundation version, so probably they're going to stay with the simple phone, simple phone. I have no idea. Okay, so so far, right now at this point, they are very different in that in the aspect of the modular modular solvers. So uh, I want to invite you also now. Sometimes people says that there is not much documentation on some, but just go to the website and you visit here, guys, and you, you have these articles here and I just will address a few of the, uh, this but basically the one talking about modular solvers this one and then all these new ones also are specific many new improvement in Opa Phone 11 that we are going to address in another training in the one only dedicated to to, to uh, Open Phone 11 so <laughs> And this one we have now productive CFD and this utility and I want to talk about this fun to see fun to see utility honestly is a little bit confusing even the name now because I, I recall the first time I read this one and for me it was like oh, okay this is to convert something to see but it's table of content okay and just to show you what 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 is this utility doing and let me go here okay and I have the, the, the same case, not the one, but the previous tutorial, the driven cavity. Okay, so just to show you something. And this font to see, and let me go back to Open Font 10. Okay, so as you're recording Open Font 10, to run this case. And another thing that this case that you have, it is backward compatible with Open Font 10. So just to show you that I'm running Open Font 10, let me put here. So I say that this is the open phone ten, and you can do your block mesh, and then you go pimple phone, and there you go. The case is running. Okay, remember that we just added new entries, and those new entries, okay, if they don't uh, exist in open phone ten, it will ignore. So those, that that is the only thing that we did. So it's pretty much I I, I think that everything will be back compatible, except for very specific new keywords. Okay, so now in here, if I go pimple phone, and if you recall that, and you use the tap key for auto completion, and probably put their help, you get this help, and say that you have all these many options, lists, functions, lists of fit constraints, and so on. So basically, let me go here, for instance, list momentum, and use tap, and it will tell you this specific solver can access all these tolerance models, or classes, or templates classes okay and so on now you can go the other sb whatever constraint and there you go so now let me move back to open phone 11 okay and let me clean here and just to show you that it's perfectly compatible so i will go block mesh and also which block mesh i'm running open phone 11 you have it there and then here it's not any more pimple phone. Even even as you put pimple phone, it would run. You have still the back compatibility. You, it is just a simple script, by the way. So go which, and there you go, and then you go. This is not an executable. It is a script, and I guess next version, all that stuff is going to disappear. And there you have you now. You have what it's doing script in four okay and this is the recommendation how you should run now okay so let me go and clean everything you go block mesh and then remember that it's phone run so phone run it will simply go it will read okay so you recall 
from the previous tutorial. Okay, let me close there. And it's going to go here in control D. And basically it's going to access this information, the solver, that's all. So you need to choose your solver according to your physics or not the solver, the class okay the specific class because this will be your new single executor for everything and your class here what you want to do so all that information you, you have here modular solvers okay so now you need to get familiar with this so bit different so here in esi you still need to remember of those names what you want to see and then to to, to use and then now in open for 11 it is the classes okay so in this case we were working with an incompressible fluid so you have it here but for instance, you want to work for compressible, here you have it, fluid, and then raw simple, raw pimple. And what, what is interesting that look at that these classes there, <clears throat> you can use it to substitute all the dissolvers. So now if I want to run this same case uh, steady, I just need to modify SV skin and I already put the comment there. You go there. Well, I don't need to comment the, the first one, it will take the last one. And that's all, okay? I change, one run, and now it's running in, in a steady mode, okay? So, probably that is one advantage, okay? That it's quite easy to change, okay? Just always the same execute all you need to go simple, pimple phone, and so on. So this is what you need to get uh, used to. So in the next tutorials, now we're going to work same case like the same data structure that we have here but we're going to move to on a steady okay so it will be pimple phone remember piece of phone completely disappeared here it doesn't exist anymore okay or that loop that that you have also we're going to work with a compressible case uh multi-phase a uh, simple case now the handbrake tutorial and probably we'll do siphon something in combustion but pretty much you get the idea that just substitute that solver keyword and then get used to the new entries if there are entries and remember that there is this back compatibility okay so get familiar with that table and to talk about now the phone to see what it's doing because as i say it's a little bit confusing so phone to see now this table of content unit it's a single executable remember no phone run so this will, will access that and all the tables so as usual you have the help Okay, type held and what you can do, what you can, how you can use it. So, for instance, you have their phone to see free. Ta, ta, ta. Let me go for instance, FB models, and it's going to tell you all the models implemented, no, the sourcers. And the same you have for FB constraints. Okay, you have it there. So, you go, you have the tab for auto completion. So, you can explore all the classes that you can access in this way. So if you type now tables with nothing, it will give you everything that can be accessed, all the classes. So for instance, if you are interested in the turbulence one, so recall previously we accessed that one, that one here, you go, you can check here, it should be something with RAS. You have it there, you have RAS and you have less. So you can go table, the name, so RAS, I can use how to complete and then i want to access for instance for incompressible class incompressible momentum transport models and these are all the tor uh, turbulence models that you can use there when it comes to to incompressible if you want to see for instance compressible you have it there or if you want to access less so i guess the keyword here will be less okay so this is a way to explore know how the executor was link or the libraries and see whatever what is inside so let me see less and let me go compressible and there you go everything that is compatible same you can do for sb constraints so you can access also for in table so you go here and sb constraint and there you go you have all these const constraints okay and then the phone info okay i always you recall for previous videos i always advise new users you know just to use and abuse this command now this is the best way to know what each class is doing or member function or whatever so for instance this one you have there limit pressure where i can use limit auto complete and there you go it will give you two options where you have seen so let me go to option two 
and there you go you have a description limits to specify so basically this is accent this uh, accessing the source code now so some people complain now that there is no documentation remember you have the whole source code and this is short scripts now they can browse the the source code in a very efficient way so this is what i wanted to talk about this tool the font to see okay what it's doing is just basically will expose to the user know how that font run or post-processing font run is, is linking and, and see all the libraries okay so you have a short example there and well, basically what i show you so this is a very interesting link that you have here how to be productive and how to browse the source code also remember that you have the documentation the documentation is quite good i honestly i have to be so basically you now you have <clears throat> uh, a short explanation what you can do open for 11 you will see the main differences with open from 10 okay so i invite you just to go f to browse the documentation and just to talk about the applications and library because this is important the source code it changes and also since our compile are the the header files and since I, what you need to link is, is completely different so you will need to get used i have to say that if you are a, a, a user okay you need to solve problem you're interested in developing something don't care about this but if you are developing something or if you have your models or solvers or variations from previous version you will need to add that that to 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 the new data structure in open for 11. And just to show you here the differences a little bit so here you i have the esa version so it's still the esi you have the solvers all this stuff i don't know what is going to happen here okay so Let's wait in time and let's go now to open phone the foundation version. Okay, so let me here. And the same foundation version. So if you go open phone 10, look at that, you have the folder applications. Okay, so it just to stress something that pretty much, okay, you, I have here, okay, open phone 11, the a SR SRC you now folder where you have the main data structure pretty much is the same. Okay, here nothing having changed the main modification like here was in application that now you have molar solver so now this is the one that we're going to explore now so as you go into applications so previous open font 10 solvers and you have it divided by physics so this is the thing that you need it now to remember okay so you were with in compressor so you have all this eco phone pimple phone piece of phone whatever so now everything has been integrated in classes remember this stuff disappeared so whatever you are using piece and i criticized a lot that one no, as i say it is the pimple with one outer loop but now you have these models okay and this is the thing that you need to get used to. So here in Solver, now you have the main executable, phone run, phone multi run. This is uh, to conjugate heat transfer for structural interaction. And so, so maybe this is another training that we're working to do that stuff. So your main executable is here. Okay. And in models, so for instance, you're going to incompressible. So let me go here, incompressible fluid. Okay, this will be equivalent to what is incompressible flows here on all these solvers. Okay, or maybe not all of them. Yeah, you need to, to read the documentation. So let's go here. And I think, okay, we have solver models here, 3.5. And you will see all the models. So we're here in compressible fluid. Okay, so is the same as this stuff okay i prefer to look at this table okay here you have a faster visual reference okay so if you go for instance let me go pimple phone and look at how different is the, the, the structure okay so previously it was pimple phone see here you have the complete source code okay and you have your library your headers and so on and then as you open the dot h uh, da, 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 okay now here you have the, the description at the beginning also okay and here you have create fields to initialize, initialize fields and some other headers as you go here now it's very very different so you have the .c file okay and let me move it to a new tab here and compare with the previous and see how different are the headers. headers are very different okay and also let me open the .h okay so let me move dot age so in the dot age now i have the description here so probably developers are standardizing everything in that sense so in this dot age okay 
you have the variables, okay? But now in the C, you can initialize, everything is initialized here. It's not anymore these create fields that you put everything, so now you initialize here, okay? And it's a little bit more, it's a little bit, no, I would say way more <laughs> complicated, different, and you need to get used, okay? So there, there is a, a tutorial I will prepare. As I say, if you are not doing any development, don't, don't care about this, okay? So pretty much the, the, the member functions, all that stuff is the same, but it's how you organize now your solvers, okay? How you call students. And arguably, you know, the, the, the developers claim that it's uh, this improved maintainability and development. I don't know, okay? I will let you know later when I start to, to modify everything. I, I actually already, you know, port some of my modifications to Open Final 11. Some cases it was straightforward, some cases it wasn't that straightforward, but yeah, I think this modularity is a big improvement you know, towards one single executable, okay? So don't think that since we'll will immediately your own developers will immediately work it will require you know, some some porting but this is the idea okay and recall that it's, it's very different okay the, the, how everything it is a structure okay so i think this is what i wanted to show you know before moving to the other tutorials you now the font to see how the source code is organizing organize and just to remind you again please just get familiar you now here with the modular solve rules access the documentation it's quite nice there uh, okay and that's all okay so i think next videos next videos we dedicate to some simple cases just to show you but the idea is pretty much the same oh by the way yeah something that uh yeah no, i already did it here the tutorial so yeah thank you for attention and remember to subscribe to our channel and see you next video bye